Now it's ultimately hard to believe that the scene when Danny Torrance goes into room 217 and opens up the shower curtain and finds the dead woman, Mrs. Massey, staring back at him was actually Cynthia Garris, the director of this film's wife. How's it going everyone and welcome to the show. I'm your host, Mike Stark. And on today's video, I'll be reviewing the 1997 three-part mini horror series made for TV by Stephen King and that is The Shining. And I'll also be comparing it to the previous DVD release. Now this is the new Blu-ray release by Shout Studios, Screen Factory. This was released by Warner Brothers. This is Region A, so if you're from Australia, you will need a region free Blu-ray player to watch this. But having said that, I prefer this version to the Stanley Kubrick version. Just my preference. I actually grew up watching this one when it was new. And first of all, price-wise, I got this for 41.68 Australian dollars on WoW HD. It's the cheapest way you can find it online. Uh, and that's roughly converted to 26 USD. But if you get it from Amazon, it's 57 AUD and 31 USD. But for me, it's worth it because for me, this film is very nostalgic and is much more native to the novel than the Stanley Kubrick version. But if you haven't seen this movie, it stars Rebecca De Mornay as Wendy Torrance, Stephen Weber as Jack Torrance, and Courtland Mead as Danny Torrance, directed by Mick Garris, who additionally also previously to this TV movie, directed a few other Stephen King adaptations, including Sleepwalkers the movie and the miniseries The Stand. But yeah, Mick Garris did an amazing job with this miniseries, I love it. And Nicholas Pike scored the soundtrack to this TV miniseries. Just, he did an amazing job. I really love the, the music to this. It's so creepy, but it also, it's very just, it's ominous. I really, really loved it. But audios and visuals wise, for this Blu-ray, compared to the DVD, the DVD, I give this about a seven out of 10, and the Blu-ray for audios and visuals, I give it a 9 out of 10. They did a great job remastering this. This does come with a new 2K scan from the inner positive, uh, or the, um, the negative. And it does come with a whole bunch of special features. And because I, I recently watched this, I didn't get a chance to watch the, um, <clears throat> the audio commentary by author Stephen King. So I've been interested to hear his thoughts in depth on this movie because... I've only heard his thoughts through um, interviews and just what I found online. But yeah, great, great movie that one. And if you haven't seen this movie, synopsis wise, the story of the three part horror mini series of The Shining is roughly about a playwright named Jack Torrance, who is an ex alcoholic. He used to be an English teacher, but he beat up one of his students. So he was let go from his job and he takes up a job being a caretaker at the Overlook Hotel where he writes this play and along with him he brings his wife Wendy and his son Danny and his son Danny has this I guess you could call it a sixth sense of being able to talk to people without actually talking and being able to see the future and talk to ghosts and just kind of do things that not the average person could do. But anyways, from there, the family move into this hotel where it's haunted because of its colorful past. People have committed suicide there. Uh, mafia have gunned down people there. Anyways, from there, these ghosts taunt Jack Torrance whilst he's trying to write this play. And Jack is a recovering alcoholic, so he's tempted by alcohol. Weird stuff are going on in the hotel. Uh, Danny is just roaming about this hotel and because he's got this supernatural uh, sense to see and, and hear things, he observes a lot of what's going on, what a lot of other people there can't see. But just a great, amazing story that I definitely think supersedes the Stanley Kubrick one. It is emotional, it is dramatic, it is touching, it is a scary horror movie, but above all, it is just a tearjerker and by the end of the movie, you will not be disappointed and you'll be trying to hold back tears because the ending to this movie, it's just, it's beautiful, but it's just a sad ending if you haven't seen this movie. And boom, here we have Stephen King's The Shining. This is a three part television miniseries. Now I've seen this on DVD, but I have yet to see the Blu-ray. And looking at this, <clears throat> looks fantastic. 
They did a 2K restoration from the interpositive or negative. So taking this off now, I bought this off Amazon for, I think it was around 50 Australian dollars. So taking this off now, in my opinion, this is uh, just a bit better than the Stanley Kubrick version. I just think that it, I don't know. I just think this was a lot scarier and uh, yeah, I just liked it. So looking at this here, very fresh spine, two disc set. I even had this on VHS back in the day. It was on two cassette tapes. So that's the uh, disc one, disc two, part one, part two. So they've put it on two discs. This is unfortunately region A, so you would need a region free player to play this. That, so that sucks. There we go, red rum. Backwards, you all know what it means. And that is Stephen King's The Shining on Blu-ray by Shout Factory. So that's it for this video, everyone. Well, what can I say? Stephen King's three-part horror TV miniseries, The Shining. If you've only owned the DVD in the past and you're thinking about upgrading to the Blu-ray, it's a no-brainer. I highly recommend the Blu-ray. They did a great job remastering it. It's the best it's ever looked. You won't be disappointed. And that's it for this video, everyone. I might start. Thank you all for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to message me down below in the comment section. Like this video if you've liked it. And without further ado, I'll catch you all in my next video. But until then, have a good night.